Hi everyone, good morning. Oh gosh. So it snowed last night, if you can't tell. And yeah, that's just one of the facts, the realities of homesteading, uh, especially if you live in an area where it snows, is that you still have to take care of your animals in the snow. So yeah, you guys are coming with me as I do my morning chores, get everything ready. Let me flip you guys around. So you guys can clearly see that because my run's not covered, there's snow on the ground. The chickens aren't gonna love that. So uh, I'm gonna grab the wood chips, wood chips and get a layer of new fresh wood chips down, even though it is still snowing a little bit. Okay, as you guys saw, it's not perfect, but it will do. So I'll just help the chickens have something that's not snow and frozen to walk on, and they'll appreciate that. So that's why we're doing that. Now let's get them some food. So for their food, um, Normally I've been doing two scoops of feed, but lately they haven't been eating it all. So we're just going down to one scoop. I think it's because we have been free ranging them a lot more than, than what we were doing in the past. But, so we're gonna do one scoop. Might go back and get a second one for them. I did get a second scoop of feed for them, but you can see how much feed they hadn't eaten. They just got soaked in a recent rainstorm. And like, because I think it was so compacted in there, they weren't being able to eat it. So, so yeah, I gave them a second scoop and then I used a scooper to, to get all this stuff. Should help. It just breaks it up, but it is, you know, it's now soaked fermented feed. Well, soaked. I don't know if it fermented. But yeah. So, 
Let's get these chickens out. All right, the final chore, getting them water. So we do have a chicken that is constantly escaping. Cause I mean, this isn't like the most secure door, it's cattle panel. And I need to put more of the, the wire mesh up so that they can't jump out basically right now they're just jumping through one of the holes but it's been nice in that like i can then free range my other chickens and they're fine so we did switch our water we used to be using i'll show you it's right here actually because i put stuff away when you can just put it down so we were using one of these it's a five or three or five gallon waters and it holds a vacuum on it well it's supposed to hold a vacuum problem is is that with it being so cold as it gets cold the vacuum the seal on it basically breaks and it doesn't hold a vacuum anymore and then all the water rushes out so we just switched to a smaller water that we were using for our meat chickens and and yeah it's working out much better it's holding water it's not freezing like it was a little slushy this morning but it wasn't frozen solid together and because it doesn't need a vacuum to keep the water in, it actually holds the water in the winter time. Okay, so so we have changed our, our chore routine a little bit. We were doing rabbits in the morning as well. And after learning some more, apparently it's better to do your rabbit chores in the evening. So we'll do our rabbit chores later this evening. Um, that's a pretty simple thing we've moved. We've moved our ladies, they're over here under this lean-to. You can see we've got Clover right there and she's gonna go in her hiding box. And then we have Bun Bun over here who does not have a hiding box. Anyway, we moved them over there under there because of some rain that we've gotten recently. And it just keeps them drier, but yeah, they're just out of the elements a little bit more. Uh, I want them to be a little bit more comfortable, so. This is where they're at for now, for the the winter until I get their their new hutches built. There'll be a three bay hutch and it'll probably go over here as well, but I'll have to make sure I put like a pan underneath it because my kids do play over here. So we will make sure we collect the rabbit poop rather than letting it just fall all over the floor where my kids play. Okay, on to the final chore, which is wood. We heat with wood. It's winter time, it's snowing. My kids think it's a magical winter wonderland and they're saying Santa sent us snow. You know, we tried our best to teach our kids that Santa wasn't real and went out of our way to even say that Santa wasn't real because we think Christmas should be focused on Christ and not Santa Claus. Somehow that didn't stick because of all of the, the, what you see around Christmas time, Santa's everywhere. My father is a, is a Santa Claus as well. Um, and so our kids just say that Papa is Santa. Um, which I mean, technically, yes, I guess that's true. But uh, yeah, we try to keep the focus on Christ, but somehow our kids, they're kids. We don't fault them for, for wanting to believe in Santa Claus.
Okay, I think you guys can still see me with the wood here in my face. But we're gonna go drop this inside and then get a probably a second load because we'll probably have to make two fires today. So, and each fire is usually about four logs. So, let's get this inside. If I haven't mentioned it already, thank you everyone who, you know, kept us in their prayers and in their thoughts as we were recovering from COVID. It's our second time having COVID and it sucked. It wasn't great. I, I lost like eight pounds because I wasn't eating anything. It was rough. So thank you all for, for keeping us in your thoughts and prayers. We greatly appreciate it. And it's, it was good to be able to stop and take some time. Still to take care of the animals during that time. It sucked having to go outside when sick, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's part of the homesteading life, I guess. So thank you all for that. Okay, so we are gonna be going out. So I just figure while I'm out here and already cold and already bundled up, I'm just gonna take care of the car, get the snow and ice off of it. Um, so that when we go out here in about an hour or two, it's, we'll be able to get this looking uh well usable drivable so let's get that taken care of also while while we're just out here uh, we didn't know it was gonna snow last night so our windshield wipers are they were down i know some people say you don't have to put them up um we found that like it is helpful when it's like the like the wet snow it's more of like rain snow mix not just snow so but we didn't again it wasn't in the forecast we we, we were expecting that so let's get this played off real quick and go from there we'll do some asmr window cleaning stuff So yeah, anyway, morning chores are done. Thank you guys all. I'm off of work for the next couple of weeks or next couple of days. So you guys are probably gonna see a lot more content from me. It's easier to record when, when I can do this more full time stuff rather than having to balance this in a job. So we're gonna make a German pancake for breakfast. And we recently went gluten free. The kids are having one with regular wheat in their flour and Miss Diane and I are gonna, I'll make one that's gluten-free for us. So, are you guys gonna watch me make gluten-free German pancakes? Okay, so for German pancakes, if you guys don't know, it's super simple recipe. 
It's a cup of milk, a cup of flour, and then six eggs. So I've already got the cup of milk inside the blender. I use the blender to mix things up and I'll throw in salt and a little vanilla as well, to make it a little more sweet and less savory. So let's go ahead and start cracking these eggs. Once you blend this up, you just take it and you pour it in a hot pan. Your pan needs to be hot. So I should have had it going in the oven to get hot, but I wasn't. I just warmed it up on the stove top. And in there, you put a half a stick to a stick of butter. Back up, baby. I prefer a whole stick. Because I think that makes it taste better. But yeah, anyway, so let's get this poured in. Let me get my kid out of here so she doesn't get burnt. Junie, out of the kitchen, please. Out of the kitchen so you don't get burnt. All right, here we go. Yeah, your guys' German pancakes are actually almost done, it looked like. Yay! So, we're gonna get mine in the oven. <laughs> so that's what it will look like, and there's ours right there, and they're cooking.